It's ill because when I was growing up listening to hip hop, wanting to get into hip hop, my dream was to be on Def Jam because that was the ultimate hip hop label. So when I when I got the opportunity to sign with Def Jam, it was like, holy shit. Like, is this really happening? Like, I'm about to be on Def Jam Records? Like, you know, only the best thing and, and, and the best of the best get to get to sign here. You know what I mean? So I really felt like that was an honor for me to be on that label. And you know, we we, we you know we, we, we made a lot of big, big moves on that label. You know, I, I love I love the Def Jam imprint. It's always gonna be synonymous with hip hop forever. Niggas are always gonna look at Def Jam and say, "Yo, that that's that's where hip hop damn near started." Mm -hmm. So you know, I, I love I love motherfucking Def Jam, and I'm appreciative to everything they've done for my career, and I learned a lot from being on that label. Cause you gotta understand something, Def Jam was an institution, nigga. You getting that much? It was damn near like a prison system. You getting the Def Jam, and nigga, you had to fight for your bunk, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> It was like before you even thought about competing with the artist on Warner, the artist on Atlantic, or the artist or any other genre, or any other fucking label, you had to compete with that building. Mm -hmm. The the Red Mans, the Method Mans, the, the DMXs, the Jay-Z. I remember my first my first times going up in Def Jam. You know what I'm saying? And I've been to other labels before, but when I went up in Def Jam, it was a whole different vibe. Like you walk up in Def Jam, music was fucking blasting out the offices. Artists is walking around there that ain't even signed there. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas is smoking weed. Like, it was an atmosphere wow. that said, this is hip-hop. And and I don't think no other label had that atmosphere like that. You know what I mean? And, and, and Def Jam, is like I said, it was definitely an institution. I learned a lot from there. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like my college. I loved it, you know what I mean? I love I love being on Def Jam and today it's not the same Def Jam because corporate has taken over it and then nigga trust me, ain't no more weed smoking going on in the building. Ain't no more music blasting like that in the building. It's it's a different vibe up there, but when I first started that one sixty Varick, man, there wasn't nothing like it. Before eight twenty five. Before eight twenty five, man. <laughs> one sixty Varick is Def Jam. Wow. For me. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of artists, like you guys, you know, Jay and X and Red and Mac and, you know, Eric Sermon and, you know, APMD, you know, all those, are, either than that, they'll let you know 160 Varick was Def Jam, man. That, that was the, the, the core of, 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 of hip hop right there.